All right. Good morning, everyone. This talking to the camera thing is still weird. Still weird. Following along with the van build, things are going really good and it's mainly just been sort of infrastructure stuff, you know, getting the sound deadening in, the floor installed, all that kind of stuff. But today, we're actually starting to do some of the framing. And for the framing on this build, on my last van build I went with just 100% wood framing, all Baltic birch. On this van I want to try something a little bit different and use extruded aluminum or 8020 as a lot of people call it to frame up everything using aluminum and then just skin it with wood. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit stronger and hopefully make the overall build a little bit better. It does come with its challenges though. It's not quite as easy as working with you know just regular wood glue and screws. You can't just go to the hardware store and grab another sheet of plywood or another box of screws. You kind of have to be a little bit more I guess it forces you to plan ahead a little bit more, which is something that you really do take for granted when you're building out of wood and you can just go to Home Depot and just pick up everything you need. Uh, it's, I'm in a gray F-150. I'm kind of on the other side of the pickup truck, which is really semi that's just pulling out of the lot now. Okay, thank you. All right, that was pretty easy. I was a little worried that uh, have to wait a long time it looks like they are pretty much here all right pick up two done is there a pickup three today I'm not sure You know how some days you just have those <laughs> those days, this isn't van life specific or van build specific where just nothing really seems to go right and it's super frustrating? <sighs> Today was kind of one of those days. All right, time for the morning coffees and then we're gonna get started on the 80-20. I'm not gonna tell you how long it took me to make this, but... I'm hoping the other ones go a lot better. But man, this stuff is not easy. Paper cut. I hate paper cuts. Alright, today is a new day. Yesterday, not so good. Today, much better. I think. Yesterday we ran out of coffee and because of the current state of everything, my usual go-to coffee spots are not open, so I had to settle for this. 
This was the smallest tin they have. I can't imagine what the biggest tin they have looks like. Smallest. So this was the smallest. Last time I bought coffee in a red tin, it didn't go that good. So hopefully this gets me through. So yeah, coffee situation, that's not off to an amazing start today, but I think the rest of everything's gonna be off to a good start. So I'm gonna organize things in the shop and then I'm gonna show you why things didn't go amazing yesterday and why they're gonna go amazing today. All right, I thought I would show you what the the most annoying part of working with this 8020 has been so far. It's pretty much all been annoying, to be honest. <laughs> Just because everything's a learning curve and nothing works. But what you'll see is a lot of people when they use 8020 and they make their brackets out of this angle, is that they'll use a carriage bolt. This isn't a carriage bolt, but just for demonstration purposes. They'll use this bolt here, they'll slide it in, and then they'll put their bracket on top like that. So you can see, and then they thread the bolt on there. I don't think that looks very nice. I think it looks messy. So what I do is I flip it over and I get this nice flush look with a T-nut on the other side. The problem with doing it this way is every bolt you do has to be, either you have to buy the right ones or it has to be cut because when you thread it in, it bottoms out. So I have to cut off that much. So it works. So, so far, So far, because I didn't buy any of the right size, which is really dependent on the thickness of angle you're using and the two different profiles. This is the 40 series, the 30 series is different. I have to cut every bolt. That being said, I did measure a caliper, dropped it in there and it looks like 14 mil bolts will work for both the 40 and 30. So I ordered some of those, but right now, Cut, 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 cut. All right, so I know while you're watching this video, it seems that I spent the majority of this week being super frustrated and not getting much done. And that's not a total lie because as the week started out, it was super frustrating. And I, when I look back at it now, the main kind of thing is that I was using this new material, the 8020 that I'd never used before. I spent a lot of time researching it, ordering it, and then when it came to actually installing it, it just didn't go as planned. I got the wrong fasteners, I didn't order some of the right profiles. And it's just frustrating when you spend that much time preparing and it doesn't go as planned. But that's really anything and it's not specific to this, that's just life. And as you push through it and push through it, it gets easier and easier. And now that we're at the end of the week, I don't hate the stuff as much. We actually got a fair amount done. We got the bed all framed up. We got most of the galley framed. And yeah, now I understand how it works. And I think that's part of why it's such a good material is because it's so versatile. There's a ton of different ways you can fasten it together. You just have to find the way that works for you and makes sense to you. And I was trying to find the right way. And I don't really know if there is a right way. There's just a way that you like. and. Once I got over that, it actually is going pretty well now. So most of the video was all the frustration. The next kind of videos I'll talk more about, you know, why I'm using it, the benefits of using it, how you fasten it all together. But this video was really me just figuring out what not to do. And now I know what to do and how to use it. So I think the rest of the build should come together a lot better. So just if something's not going as planned, it's okay to get frustrated. Just know if you push through it, it is going to get better. That's all for this one. We will see you in the next video.